Hello everyone, this is A4T back with another how to play. Today we're going to be looking at the game Heart Switch, which I said really loud for some reason. <laughs> I apologize. This is a hearts based game. If you're familiar with the game of hearts, this should be not too complicated for you. It does add a number of special cards. It's a 60 card deck. Age is 10 and up, 3 to 6 players. Which is uh, good because normal normal hearts you can only play up to four players, but because this is a sixty card deck, you can play up to sixty. Now it is a very standard poker deck. It's not the best quality, unfortunately, but it does have some nice artwork. And of course, in the game of hearts or heart switch, you want to avoid taking tricks that have hearts, and that's it is a trick taking game. And of course, I have the hearts here. <clears throat> But there are some additional special cards. Uh, first of all, there is four Magician cards, which have no point value. And they are basically kind of like an out. Like if you don't want to take a trick, you can just play a Magician card if you have one, and you don't take that trick. Unless the only way a Magician can win is if three or four people are playing, and each one plays a Magician card, then whoever led with a Magician would win the trick. There's also, as I mentioned, the Queen of Spades, which is worth 10 points. You don't want to get that one. And then there's four uh, Witch cards, which have different uh, objects to them, as you can see. The, the uh, Heart Witch, is a bad witch and is worth it doubles your point total so if you have for instance it's to a maximum of 15 points as well so if you took some tricks and you have four hearts instead of four points it would be doubled to eight points to a maximum again of 15 so if you take eight hearts you would only get 15 points instead of 16. then there's the spade wits which adds five to your score not quite as bad as the queen but still not great and then you got a couple of good witches. The club wits, which negates any points you would get from either the spade wits or the queen of spades. So if you get one of these cards and you get this, you, you won't take the points. And there's the good wits uh, diamonds, which takes five points out of your hand. But you cannot go below zero, so if you have no points, you don't lose any points. So those are, that's those ones. I should mention, I want to mention the uh, witches are between a 10 and a jack. So the, the deck goes, low card is 2 through 10. Then you got the witches, jack, queen, king, ace. And actually I should say it's, this is the low card. Magician, 2 through 10, witch, jack, queen, king, ace. So let's... Look at how to play a little bit, I suppose. We'll bury all these into the deck. The amount of cards you get depends on how many people are playing. Like I said, whoever has the lowest score at the end of the game wins. Usually you play until somebody hits 70 points or more but you can if you want change uh, you, you can set up your own point total if you want or use a fixed number of hands so maybe you only play 10 hands or maybe play to 50 points it depends how long you want to play <clears throat> your goal in each hand is to avoid winning any tricks that include a heart the queen of spades or the wicked spade wits or you want to win all 14 hearts, which includes the heart wits, and, or, and the uh, queen of spades, or the wicked spade wits, which is called suiting the moon. So you can take, you can try to take no hearts, or just go for all of them. <laughs> but you do want to get the, the wicked spade wits, or the queen of spades, if you do take all the hearts. All right, so if you're playing three people, it's 20 cards each. 
four people, it's 15. For five, it's 12. And for six, it's 10. Basically, you want to divide the cards evenly between each person. That's why it works out for 60 people. So let's just deal out some cards here. We'll do three people. So, when you start the game, you need to swap cards, three cards, or four cards with other players. If it's three people, you're swapping four cards. If it's four or five people, it's three cards. And if it's six people, two cards. And you have to make that pass before, you can't, you know, you have to make the pass before picking up cards passed to you. For the record. So, and you're going to want to get rid of cards that you don't want to keep. So maybe you don't want to keep a heart. Maybe you don't want to. This guy's got some distance. We'll get rid of some of the higher hearts, I would say. And uh, you know, maybe we get rid of King of Spades to avoid. Potentially taking the Queen of Spades, and we'll just say another heart. Uh, we'll take the Eight of Hearts, uh, Nine of Hearts. So, I would probably, well, yeah, I'd probably do that. And you pass them for this round to the left. Every round you can alternate. So this round you would pass to the left, next round to the right, and to the left, and to the right. If you're playing four people, you're going to be doing like left, right, and then across. It. it can be a little bit confusing I suppose so let's see what this guy has he's gonna want to keep this one he's definitely gonna get rid of this one he's got all the witches apparently <laughs> uh, definitely the ace of hearts that's the high card the ten of hearts would be good to get rid of basically you want to get rid of cards yeah and the queen of spades you want to get rid of cards that you don't want to keep that actually maybe not maybe maybe not uh, we'll get rid of some hearts forget the ace of spades all right so everyone has passed their cards over so i, I would say the person to the left of the dealer starts you can lead with any card you want, any suit you want, so for instance, maybe they'll play spades. You, the next person has to play, has to follow that suit if they can. So, uh, they're gonna play, they're gonna play the knight of spades, and this guy is going to play Let's see what he's going to play. He's going to play the witch. He's going to take that suit. Actually, no, wait. The witch would be under the jack, so he wouldn't take that suit. So maybe he's not going to play that. He'll play a heart. You want to get rid of the hearts, right? So he plays a heart, and this player will take it. You're supposed to turn them face down. I'm just going to leave them face up so that they don't get mixed up with the face up card or the face down cards. <laughs> Since this guy. Won the, the trick, he's going to lead again. So let's say I'm going to play a club this time, perhaps. Maybe this guy will play the ace of clubs. And, you know, I'm going to give him a heart. <laughs> Why not? That's the name of the game, right? To get rid of the hearts. So you keep going through, doing this way. Maybe he'll do. Uh, 
diamonds this time and maybe I will play this just to be on the safe side and this guy will play this I suppose and just keep going through like that keep in mind Unlike some other trick-taking games, the hearts, while being in kind of the trump suit, a heart does not automatically win a trick. Unlike other games that you might have seen me do, uh, do like Wizard, for instance, where the trump suit would automatically take the trick. In this case, that's not the case. The hearts are the cards you want to avoid, but they do not win the, the trick. So you go through, you know, like this. Obviously, uh, playing cards, we can, I guess, continue a little bit further, try to do something interesting, so that's a, maybe this guy plays, What's he going to do? <laughs> He's got so many bad cards. Maybe I'll play the Ace of Spades. Uh, and this guy maybe plays Queen of Hearts, because why not? Get rid of it. And then this guy... Actually, technically, technically he should be playing the suit that was led, so... I might have screwed up there a little bit before. You should be playing the suit that was led. I think I cheated a bit. <laughs> it is what it is. They keep going through like that. I do apologize for not following the rules there, but it is what it is. <laughs> you should follow the suit that was led, not just randomly play cards. Um. So maybe now he's going to play. Screw it, the Ace of Hearts because he has no choice. That's going to win the trick anyway. And everyone just kind of gets rid of their hearts and gives it to him. <laughs> Probably not the smart thing to do, but. It is what it is. Ah, uh, maybe this guy decides he wants this trick. Because it's diamonds. Uh, but this guy says, nah, I'll take that. And then maybe he plays spade but he made a mistake because this one is still out there so that guy's gonna play it and that guy realizes he screwed up because now he's gonna get that plus 10 and we'll give him another one so that guy just royally screwed up he just gave himself 15 points because he played a card he said you gotta you gotta be careful you don't want to play you want to keep an eye on what's out there. You don't want to play a high card if you're going to potentially capture points cards like that. And maybe he'll play a diamond this time. <laughs> and diamond. And... Why not? I'll take that one. Apparently I've not taken many tricks <laughs> up until this point, which is fine. Uh, probably get you to play a small card if you know you're not going to win the trick. Just so that you're not losing potentially big card or the entire hand. <laughs> Oops. I don't even know who won that. But it, anyways, let me pick up these cards. I apologize. 
It wouldn't be one of my videos if I wasn't throwing around the cards, you know? I do that a lot. It's just a lot of fun like that. Anyways, you keep going through like that. And then at the end, you're going to score the points. There is a score sheet. It's actually interesting. They got numbers on here. So how many players determines where you draw a line. So six players, you draw a line here, 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 and here. So you have six spots. Uh, like I did, I had three players here, so I drew lines where the threes are. And then you're, you're writing down, keeping track of the points. I will go over that. So, basically it's how many points you took and then the running total. So in this round I had zero points, and so my running total is zero, zero, zero. So here I got 25, and my running total 25. Then I added 11, running total 36. And it even goes, well, to 11 rounds here, which is probably good, but it's a nice little score sheet. I like using pencil as well for score sheets because then I can just erase it with an eraser and we'll use it, especially if you're going to be playing it a lot. But, um, yeah, so that's the points. Then you would go through and score the points. Let's just say this is what this guy got. So he's got one heart, two hearts. Three hearts, four, four hearts, and of course there's everything else we could just, you know, do that. <laughs> so the magicians are worth nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is just as an example. And then this one would multiply it by 2, so that's 14 points that he would take. This one, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Yes, this is kind of interesting. So he's got the free hearts. Uh, he's got these, which is 15 points. But... This one would negate this one, five, because uh, it's a minus five. And this one would negate the other one. So he got really lucky. He did get those two bad cards, but he also got the queen that, the, 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 the queen, the, the witch that reduced it by five points. And the other one that negates either the queen or witch of spades. So really, he's going to get three points. He got super lucky. He or C. And then the last one. And again, this is just an example. We didn't play for the whole round. He's got oop, three points as well. Not bad. So you would write those down and then keep a you know tabs of a running total. Again, you can shoot the moon by winning all fourteen hearts and the spade queen or the spade wits. There is three different versions: the small slime, which is all fourteen hearts. Plus the spade wits, which is five points for a total of twenty points. The big slime, which is fourteen hearts, and the spade queen, which is worth ten points for twenty-five points total. And the grand slime, which is all fourteen hearts, spade wits, and a spade queen for a total of thirty points. If you do suit the moon, anyone in possession of the other witches has no effect on the scoring and that is that of course it is to have the least amount of points so I don't know why you want to get all those points but so that is the game I apologize it's a bit of a long video but there's a lot to explain if you're familiar with hearts you may or, you'll know how to play this and you may or may not like it with the additional cards if you're not it's an interesting game to play either way. So that is that. Comment, like, subscribe. Hopefully I covered everything. Comments, questions, leave them below. And we'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching.